You're tuned in to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Incorporated. I'm excited about this video. I'm excited about all videos, but especially this one. Um, a submission I used to do about 15 years ago and onwards that I totally forgot about and I started applying in my game. Really excited to share with you guys. Stay tuned. So this is the breakdown. I'm not sure if this is legal in all Jiu Jitsu tournaments and depending at what belt level you are, if this is gonna be legal or not. So I'm gonna leave that up to you to research it. But this neck crank or crucifix submission from side control, it's basic, but there's some finicky part to it. The gross motor movement is everyone likes to do this shoulder pressure with the shoulder at the jawline here. And most people like to prevent it by putting a frame to try to get out of it. So I like to just throw my bicep, the top part of my bicep to his bottom part of the elbow up. And then I wanna snake this hand closer towards the elbow at his tricep. The pressure I had behind his neck and at his jawline will slide towards the upper part of the neck, sorry, of the uh, crown of the head behind for more leverage and I'm here. I can apply pressure by leaning my head towards his knees and straightening out my arm. And I get the tap. What you want if you want more pressure out of this is now i'm going to turn my hips and bring the opposite elbow towards his ear and then get the tap i like this submission because if you're not successful with it uh, you haven't lost position you're not really exposing yourself i just find that if you got a tight control position, you're applying shoulder pressure at his neck, and then if you can just lift his elbow up, lift his head up to entangle closer. Two, two negatives is one is to go towards his underarm and behind the neck. So if you go to the underarm and behind the neck, you will get it, Push, pressure this elbow lower one, right, to relieve. I can still get it. Try to defend it hard one. I'm here. See, there's resistance. He's lifting up. To minimize his escape, I want to go closer behind the elbow, higher on the head, and put the weight on his opposite shoulder. Because if he lifts the shoulder up, it relieves the pressure. I want to put weight on his opposite shoulder. Another setup to this submission is for mount. I underhook the head. I underhook the arm, I walk the arm up high. I hook behind the elbow. Again, stay away from here. You're gonna stay away from the underarm. You wanna anchor right below his elbow. And you wanna, this will come naturally to the, to the back of the crown of the head, a little bit higher on the head. Then from mount, it's hard to apply leverage. I go to the dismount. I bring his arm up and then get the tap. So there you have it. One of Steve's silly, simple submissions. I like it because it's gross motor movements, not a lot involved. If you're not successful, you didn't lose position, you're not exposing yourself. Um, be gentle when you're repping this because you're dealing with the neck crank, the crucifix uh, style pressure. So you don't want to be jacking out someone's neck. So 
apply with slow progression, allowing them to tap, uh, play around with it, and I look forward to seeing you in the lab soon.